Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Switzerland in Europa Universalis number the four. Right, it's been a few days since I played this last and it looks like we're ruining France. Is that, that seems like the plan. We're ruining France. Uh, we're sitting with them at 20 war exhaustion, trying to get the rebels to spawn and trying to prevent Austria from taking care of them for us. So right now, um, I'm thinking I'm going to wait just a moment. We're going to peace out Scotland as soon as he's willing. In fact, he might be willing to now. Um, maybe. Even though we have zero war score. Nope. Nope. Totally un not interested. Nope. Okay. Uh, psh, people left the coalition. That's cool. Um, very nice. Uh, marriage offer from Naples. Our current relationships are... We have an alliance with Naples. Did we... Let's see. On halt. Bohemia. Scotland has no heir. Doesn't matter because we're doing all that. We picked up an alliance with them. Um, I don't think we want the royal marriage. He suffer from France is a no. Military access for Austria is a no. Austria's decided to be hostile to me because I just reloaded the game, and possibly because I just told him no. Um. Oh, they've already broken the royal marriage. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're no longer friends with Austria. Yeah, there goes that. Yeah, it's great. You know, you just reload the game, and suddenly your ally stops being your ally. God. You're clearly, the clearly, the, the thing you're supposed to do is just play this game non-stop, one sitting, 380 years, start to finish. That's the only option. Otherwise, the AI just gets weird. There's, I don't think there's anything I can really do here. He, he's already decided that he hates me. He's probably already set all my land to, like, special interest or something. Like, that he wants it. Try sending him money. I mean, I guess, if I give you military access, you're going to go take care of France, though, and I can't let you do that, man. I'd rather fight you, honestly. I'd rather fight you than let you help France. Because you're not allied to France. You don't care about France. No one, I mean, whatever. I just, it's just silly. Lose one or the other. We need admin points slightly more, I think, right now. Let's go ahead and piss off the nobility. Or do we want to piss off the... Well, we can, we can afford to piss off the burgers a little bit better. Um... And we'll just piss off the nobility. It's fine. It'll come back fairly soon, 19 months. Scotland's now gone, so they're no longer in our war. There are disloyal estates, we know. The alliance is breaking soon, quote unquote. Scotland doesn't exist, so they're not on this list anymore. Do we want to make Bavaria like us or gain some prestige? Well, I don't really care about anyone, so... Don't care about them. Losing legitimacy and prestige here. Could have been could have been possible actually. We were we were gonna go five over. Could have just sacked some legitimacy for more of this stuff. What do we get if we go oh it's just church power plus ten percent? Stability cost modifier? That's not very much. Oh, we have stupendous loyalty here, so we might as well ask them for their money. Otherwise it's just gonna tick down over time. And there goes the alliance with Austria. Okay. Well I guess you're just not allowed to be the Emperor anymore. Clearly. We'll back off by one province, hopefully prevent him from fighting us. Let's lower maintenance a little bit, so we're not losing money. Um, these guys, sure. If it's not Austria, then you can have access. Now that the alliance is straight up broken, it's never going to come back. I highly, highly doubt it. Fortunately, we are looking to expand outside of the Empire now, so he can't really do much. He can't say, well, unlawful territory, sir. Right, and also this is the war where we need to give some land to the Papal State. We called him in on a promise of territory, if I'm not mistaken. So, we were going to give him this province down here, which is why I occupied it. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, it's already been transferred, right? Okay. So, the peace deal I was looking at, we're going to take two provinces for ourselves. We don't... we don't have to humiliate. Even without the humiliate, we're going to gain 19 power projection, which will be good enough for a while. And then we give them like this. And then they're happy. We take money. We get nine of the nine of the prestige. We would actually gain 32 power projection by taking Languedoc and giving it to the Papal State, which is great. We get 218 of the ducats at a cost of a very small amount of inflation. That'd be pretty good. So let's just hope that we can see at least one or two more rebellions fire. Spe especially like nationalists would be what I'd like to see. He's actually going after a fort. Only level one fort. 
and they get reduced penalty here, and they do have some cannons, so they should go pretty quick, I guess. Austria suffered attrition for funsies. What are you up to, you war? No, he just has his truce with us. Where are you going, man? All those times. Uh oh. People state, are you, are you... Are you planning on going over here? Ah, shoot, call for peace. Well, it's not really the rebellion that I wanted, but... It is something. Okay, who is going to join the coalition if we do this peace deal? Ulm. Venice, Tuscany. We don't care about Venice. Salzburg. We've already capped off relations with him. Frankfurt. Maybe? Yeah, we got room to improve here. Okay, that could help out. But we still have no war exhaustion. We can go a little bit longer due to optimism. We can wait at least like four or five more months and hope. Unless, of course, the Papal State's going to kill these peasants. <sighs> ah, there we go. Okay, perfect. So he's got French nobles, and he's got this. That's good enough for me. Let's piece him out right now. Before he does too much damage here. He's actually still going to win this fight no matter what, isn't he? Yes. If I take a little bit less money, we could also humiliate him. Yeah. 62 power projection sounds pretty darn good. Good stuff all around. Vassalize the planet, get access to the sea. Haha, <laughs> no! No. Um, vassalizing the planet, though. What do you think? Well, we do border him. He does have cores over here. One's on mines. One's on Austria. We're probably going to end up rivaling Austria soon, if I had to guess. Love this power projection. We've got plenty of money now. We kind of need to do some more buildings. We have any provinces with good numbers? Hey, the 0 0.12's not bad. 0 0.13 is slightly better, as is the 0.14. Take the 0 0.10. Um, barracks? Nothing all that great. This one's pretty good. More regimental camps? Sure. We'll call that good for now. We do have uh, a couple rebellions possible. Savoyard Separatists in Cuneo. They are... a little bit upset. It is mountainous. Let's park an army down there. I don't think we're going to see anyone else help us out for a little while. We only have three out of four relationships. The alliance with the Papal State is at plus 11. Wow. You're only at plus 11, even though I gave you land and did all that stuff. Crazy. <laughs> Leon just insulted France. Oh, that's great. I find that to be hilarious. Our generals are not that great right now. Venice is just allied France, okay. Still, we're very strong. Austria, you know why he's moving his troops around? He's not at war. And he's got troops that are like stuck in these three provinces. And we're not giving him military access, so he's just moving back and forth. Oh, it's funny. I love it. It's good stuff. Yes. Suffer attrition. Well, things are going alright. He's, he's trained up an army. There's likely to still be... Yep, the nobles have moved to Norm Normandy. Coalition still hasn't formed up. Coalition map mode is actually looking pretty good right now. We'll be able to attack... Um, I don't know, somebody. Liege is currently defending against Brabant. Something, something, Korea. Ottomans have declared war on Austria. Excellent. How does the Austrian Empire... Oh, yeah, they have a lot of support. Of course, because they're defending against someone else. 
But uh, it looks like Ottomans in this campaign have done a pretty good job of eating up Austria. So I think we're going to see that work out against him. They probably only attacked because we are no longer allies. I'm not going to give military access to the Ottomans because I'll give military access to the Austrians as well. Unfortunately, because he's the Emperor, he does have military access through my land since I'm part of the Empire. Now, Brabant is allied to Bremen, the Platinate, and Flanders, and Holland. If he takes over all of Liege, I might want to take some of that land. Are we looking on accepted culture? Like, like I said, it's been a while since I played last, so... Burgundian is still accepted. Swabians at 15.5. I think we were kind of giving up on the idea of getting anything above 20 again, and just trying to keep things above 10. This new land needs to be cored before it counts. It's being converted to reformed, unfortunately. Uh, that's okay, I guess. This is Wallonian. Which we have none of yet. And Francian. Which is going to be at... Uh, Fran Franconian or Francian? What? What? I guess Francian shows up as Fran Franconian here? Must. Strange. We'll see. Probably gonna see this rebellion fire pretty soon. The nobles should be loyal fairly soon. We have one more month, good deal. Seem to be doing just fine on manpower at the moment. Oh, that's right, we have a pending Regency Council. Ugh. It's definitely gonna happen. I should probably take advantage then and declare war. Can't go to war with France. We could go eat Bavaria. Bavaria has no allies. I think by all means we should do this war right now. Can we get another general? We're ahead of time on everything except for military. We finished a military idea group. We're quite a long ways away. We hire a general. Not until... 57. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hire a general. 72 army tradition, wow. Ooh! It's a 3-6! Yes! With other stats to, as well. 3-6-3-2! It's very good! Everything about him is good. So yeah, we're gonna declare this war because I'm expecting a Regency Council, which is gonna let our aggressive expansion come down quite a bit. We'll just declare it now. I don't want him to have any chance to, uh... Any chance at all. Also, since the Emperor is at war... Wait, he can still do it as long as he's at war. It's only if we're not at war. We we have to be at war for him to... I, I totally forgot I have to worry about the uh, the thing. We can do a bullshit war with... Um, yeah, make, make Roster like us. Great. He's still hostile. We can take this mission. Vassalize the Platinate. Blood is still an elector, if I'm not mistaken. They are not. Okay, by all means, let's do that. I'm gonna really lower our, uh... Pick up quite a bit of, a, of aggressive expansion here in the next couple of years. Of course, we're gonna crush with our crazy combat ability. This rebel rebellion chance is too low. His allies are up here. So he's got an alliance up there, and... Ah, uh, Brabant. Ugh. That's a little bit yucky. Saxony won't help them. Brabant's going to. And Brabant is not in a union over anyone. 23 day siege of a capital. That's pretty good. Well, it looks like we're going to be fighting Brabant then. Platinate's army is up here. Now that we've done that, we can peace out Bavaria. And we need to finish this core as soon as we can. Yep, whatever. The ratios seem fine. 
Could raise autonomy and just give it away anyway. Hey, there goes our valid rivalry. Good. We didn't want any more land for Venice anyway, so he was just kind of... You know, he's just giving us power projection from humi Humiliates, that's all. There's a stack wipe. Let's try to, uh, to knock him out. By just taking out his capital. We will definitely want the admin points. How's France doing? Still kind of struggling with his rebels, it looks like. Yeah, it's only about a 10 stack down there now, but... We're doing some damage. France is not at war. Looks like he got routed. God, I wish I could just attack him again anyway. Just, just kill him. Our siege ticks are pretty good. 22 days against Brabant. His capital is not going to last more than, I don't know, maybe at most six months. Brabant does have a tech advantage over us. Tech 12 over tech 11. Coffee boom. We have 26 day sieges against uh, the Platinum. So, aggressive expansion is getting pretty high, but I think we're going to still be able to to probably take this vassalization, right? If we if we make him a vassal, it's only going to be a little bit, and most of the people that can join the coalition don't matter. France is never going to be able to, like, really do anything about it. He can't join if he has less than 50 over aggress aggressive expansion with us, and by the time the truce is up, he won't have that much. So, France can't join. All that's really left, then, is, like, you know... Venice, who cares? Salzburg, mine. Like, we'll, we'll just take advantage of what we can here. But this war is not going to end until we finish our core. That's an important part. So we need to keep this war going until November of next year. Since we do have to play around the, uh... Whatchamacallit thingy now. Unlawful territory. Kind of surprised that neither of these rebellions have fired, considering they're at 90%. Now, Aragon is jumping on France. Awesome. Keep on beating up my enemy. I love it. Who else are you fighting against? Naples. Cool. Nothing too interesting here. Siege has only been going for 140 days, but we're about to succeed. Course Aragon, you can have access. It does give France access, which is annoying, but... There it is. Now what's interesting is that, uh... Brabant does have an army. I just don't know where it is. I mean, we could just try to piece him out. We have 42 war score right now. Can't force his religion. He's too big. Just take war reps and all of his money. This will probably be what we do. He has pretty good war score against Liege. So that war might end. Now, if I take two forts, though, he's going to peace out. And they're just level one. This one will be even faster than Rabant was. So that will be excellent. Remember though, I finished this core. Not bad at all. Alright, so we take all your money, we take war reparations, and... Well, we don't really need the prestige. I don't really care too much about the truce timer. Um, we're not going to peace out until we, after, until we finish this core. Lubick accepted the demand. Coalition is only Ulm, that's it. Just one dude. Looks like Austria is getting beaten. Actually, you know what? Let's sort by force limit. Austria's down to no manpower, 15 mercs, only 37,000 troops, versus the Ottomans who have double the actual active army plus 60,000 manpower in the bank. They are ahead on tech, and they do have three defensive ideas. 
but the Ottomans have one offensive. Oh, and they took administrative first. Wow. These Ottomans are going to be a core like crazy. Well, when we finish this core, we'll peace out and we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much else. Maybe we can take advantage of the uh, of the Platinus core, attack Austria and Mines and give that land back before we end up with a Regency Council. We're looking at like still possibly a 12-year Regency Council, so that could be good. There's Brabant. The Edge just joined the coalition against us. Surprised that he didn't eat him completely. Right, well, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you soon.